Panda Express. Are you ready? Hey, let's get it. Okay, I know this is gonna sound a little crazy, but can I get one of everything? Has anyone spent one what? Yeah. Diet Coke. <laughs> 125. That's a lot of Has food. anyone spent over hundred dollars at Panda Express? I think we just broke the world record. We literally broke the right record. Now. Bro, that's crazy. We definitely broke a Panda Express record. Bro, we have a lot of Panda Express. Look at all this food, man. Guys, I'm not kidding. This is not an exaggeration. We got a lot of food. Look at the title of this video. Everything off the Panda Express menu. Yeah, that's not clickbait. We are literally about to eat every single item off this Panda Express menu. Let's get it, guys. What is going on, you guys? Brandon here, AKA Bravadis, and today I'm here with Olipop. And in case you guys haven't figured out by now, today we are eating every single item off the Panda Express menu. Now, Ali, I really did not want to invite you to do this video because you know your diet was supposed to start but yeah no i woke up this morning i thought to myself a life is short so i'm gonna start the diet tomorrow officially oh so the diet starts tomorrow no no i promise tomorrow you know uh i just want to say one thing you know uh you're my best friend so i don't really mean to put you on blast yeah, yeah. All, all over the internet but mm -hmm. i swear okay the year is 2024 now yeah. i could have swore it was like 2019, about five years ago, you told me the diet was gonna start tomorrow, and here we are five years later, and the diet still hasn't started. But anyway, we won't get into that. We're getting closer and closer <laughs> every day, I promise. I promise you guys tomorrow. I didn't know in all these languages tomorrow meant a five year span, but we each speak different languages. You know this what I mean? very true. So like I said, trying everything off the Panda Express menu. For those who don't know what Panda Express is, it's one of the biggest food chains in the world, and honestly, one of the best tasting. I love yeah, Panda. Panda is bomb, and there are a lot of menu items I've never tried in my my life and I'm excited to try them today. I mean, they have a lot of different options. Look at all this food in front of us. What are we trying first, bro? So I think it's only right we start with the appetizers. Come on, what, what do you start a meal with? Some appetizers. So, oh wait, wait, whoa, wait. Whoa, whoa. Before we try the Panda Express appetizers, I mean, bro, can you really eat Panda Express? Soy sauce! Without some soy sauce? Don't get me wrong, Panda Express already has a lot of sodium, but can you really go wrong with more sodium? You can never go wrong with more sodium because like we said, the diet's starting tomorrow. More <laughs> sodium, the better. My type of friend, bro. My type of friend is someone who doesn't make you feel guilty about eating unhealthy food, bro. Wait, where's the dessert? Soy sauce, yes sir. Oh, Ali, quick question. Yes. Do you like low sodium or high sodium? High soy sodium. Do you get the joke, guys? Okay, let's add some soy sauce. Come on, bro. If you eat Panda Express and you do not add soy sauce, you're doing it wrong. I mean, you're probably doing it right because you're prolonging your lifespan. It's more healthy, but you're doing it wrong. You know what I mean? So, all right, now that we got the soy sauce added, now it's time to officially try every Panda Express menu item. It is time to officially start with the appetizers. Let's see what we're working with. So appetizers from Panda Express, we have some chicken egg rolls and cream cheese wonton. Ali, what do you want to start with? I want to start with the egg roll. I want to say I've never had either one of these in my Me life. Me never. Either. Usually when I go to Panda Express, I go straight for the chow mein, orange chicken, stuff like that. So I've never tried the chicken egg roll or the cream cheese wonton. Let's start with the chicken egg roll. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. Mm. Wow, that's fire. Oh what? Oh, yeah. Wait, this is amazing. We've been sleeping on this. Someone's been gatekeeping this from us. No one told us about these chicken egg rolls from Panda Express. I've been missing out for years. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This is this really is bomb. Usually you go to Panda Express, you order your meal, you get to the front, they ask you, oh, would you like to add an egg roll or a wonton? I'm always like, no, it's okay. From now on, yes, please. Okay, now the cream cheese wonton. Oh, I'm, this is gonna be interesting. I don't think I've ever had a oh Ooh, cream cheese right in the middle. I don't think I've ever had a cream cheese wonton it's from like anywhere. A, it's like in a my cream life. pie. Cream Anyways, pie. bro, cream cheese wonton. Cheers. Cheers. It was kind of like lacking 
seasoning or flavor. It literally just tastes like if you go to a bagel spot, you get a plain bagel and you add cream cheese. That's all it is. I'm taking the chicken egg roll over the wonton 100%. all day. It's not bad, it's just too plain. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not terrible, but the chicken egg roll just has way more flavor. Oh yeah. Okay, Ali, now that we got the Panda Express appetizers out the way, I know you're dying to jump into the chicken and the Ooh. beef and the shrimp, but before we get into the main entrees, I think we should try the sides, which is the world famous Panda Express chow mein, or they have fried rice. I have a confession. I've actually never tried their fried rice, ever. I thought you were going to say their chow mein. I was going to no. say, that's cat. You're no, a liar. No. I, I have had the chow mein. It's amazing, but the fried rice I've never had. Okay, so you want to try the fried rice first? Let's do it. So you look at the fried rice up close here. It has some peas, carrots, green onions, some scrambled eggs, and obviously the rice. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I have tried the Panda Express fried rice before, but I usually just go with the chow mein. I like the chow mein way more than the fried rice. I never really liked the fried rice. I'm not going to lie, but maybe it tastes different now. Maybe it'll grow on you. You never know. Okay. Panda Express fried Cheers. rice. Okay. Being completely honest, it's like, it's not bad. It's very mid. It's um, nowhere comparable to like a Hana fried rice. We've you been know? spoiled by by like the hibachi grill fried rice yeah. where they cook the food in front of you, like a Hana mm -hmm. Shogun, that type of food. So we've been spoiled by that. But it's, it's not bad. It's just, it doesn't stand out like I thought it would, you know? Yeah, it, honestly, it, it tastes like well, for someone who didn't like it, you're eating a lot of no, it. No, I'm just trying to get the proper flavor. Well, the diet doesn't start until tomorrow, so you might as well get all the final yeah, meals. Yeah, of course. It's like you're on death row and you're having your final meal. Okay, I don't even know why I said that. You know I would never wish that. No, I know. You, you know, know I love You me. know my final meal would be in and out anyways. <laughs> <laughs> The Panda Express fried rice is just how I remembered it when I was a kid. It wasn't bad. Yeah. It didn't taste bad, but there's just other better options you could get. I would I would rate this average like a 6.5 out of 10. It's just... I'm going to have to agree. It's just very mid. Mm -hmm. um, it does not stand out. Not too much flavor. This I'm excited for. This I am excited for. The chow mein is what Ali is talking about. You can never go wrong with Panda Express chow mein. I feel like chow mein from Panda Express, everybody loves. Yes, it's everybody like... Loves. Okay, Ali, let's get a good swirl of chow mein. I love a good oh. noodle pool. Oh my, oh, that's an amazing oh. bite. That bite's so good, it suckered in my fork. Oh, oh my God. That's an amazing. Should I, should I go dig in? Dig in, baby. Oh, that's a nice mm. bite. Oh my God, that's, that's a bite of chow mein. That's, you look like a wild animal, bro. That's, that's fire. Let me get some, let me get some, let me get some. Hold up, hold up. I need a new fork. I need a new fork. That's so good. I'm not gonna sit here and cap and act like it's my first time trying this. I always get the chow mein and I love it every time, so. That's fire. I already know it's gonna be good. It's Way fire. better than the fried rice. Okay. Woo! Mmm. I'm good. Mm. It's just like, it's like next level. Mm. Listen, I, I'm a man who believes in God, so I was raised to never judge other people. However, I'm gonna make an exception right now. If you walk into Panda Express and they ask you chow mein or fried rice, and you pick the fried rice over the chow mein, I will judge you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, God. I will judge you if you pick the freaking fried rice over the chow mein because this chow mein is fire. Chow mein is fire, way better than fried rice, and if you pick the fried rice over it, so, so, something ain't right. Dude, this chow mein, 10 out of 10. ten oh yeah, 10 of 10. 10 of 10, bro. Mm. Mm. Should we Lady in the Trampet? No! No. no. I don't play those games. Y'all can play whatever games y'all want. I ain't playing those games. You don't want to stick a noodle on each side of our mouth and suck it in and kiss at the end? No, thank you. No, to each I want you to do whatever you guys want, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's like a cold day right here. Yeah, you okay. How does that feel? You ready to try the actual entrees? Yes. Okay, so as far as the actual entrees go, the chicken, beef, shrimp, you know, we've done the appetizers. Of course. We've done the sides, the chow mein and the fried rice. Now it's time to get into the big boy foods. Uh, the proteins. The proteins. I feel like Panda Express is known for something. Okay. Oh, I feel like okay. I feel like everybody knows. Well, we're going to start with the first entree we're going to try. If you walk into a Panda Express, everybody's getting the orange chicken. I would argue that the orange chicken from Panda Express is the micro 
Michael Jordan of all menu items they have. I'm gonna one up that. Someone better than Michael Jordan. Oh God. I would argue that the orange chicken is the Devin Booker of menu items at Panda Express. So here is the orange chicken. Get a close up look at this. It looks so juicy, so succulent, so amazing. Succulent. I don't even know what succulent means, but I feel like I've heard it in like commercials when they talk about how good food is. So yeah, I just, so I, I just use that. I, I just used it because I feel like it was the right word to use in this moment. But anyways, guys. Oh, the orange chicken. I I could sit here and waste my breath yeah. and explain what the orange chicken is, but I just feel like if you live on this earth and you've tried Panda Express yeah. orange chicken, am I tripping? Or? It's it's comfort food. It's everything you can imagine. You ready, Ali? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 I've been getting this since I was a little kid and mm. nothing has changed. It tastes just as good in 2024 as it did in 2005 when I was 10 years old. And the thing I love about it, it's never dry. It's super juicy. Mm -hmm. That sauce over it, the tenderness. Oh, you could have a plate of this and just be happy all day. Uh -huh. But this with some chow mein? Oh. oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, this is a 10 of 10. This is, you can't even compete with this. This, honestly, when you go into Panda Express, you know, yeah, they got the teriyaki chicken, the Beijing beef, the mushroom chicken, the honey walnut shrimp. Don't get me wrong, those are all good options. But I just feel like orange chicken has to be at the top of people's list for favorite entrees. This is... This is, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's phenomenal. It's everything you could think of. It's a classic. Yeah. It's a classic. It's the Michael Jordan. It's a 10 out of 10 and... All I could say is if you're watching this video and you have not tried the Panda Express orange chicken, get your ass in your car, drive over to one and try the orange chicken because you will not be disappointed. Um, Brandon, I just realized we have a lot to eat. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different entrees. Bro, I'm not saying 10 sides or 10 appetizers. We have 10 full meal entrees that we gotta try. So hey, even though we're already starting to get a little full, we promised them a video. We and did. We, we promised that we were gonna try everything off the Panda Express menu, so. What's next? What's next? We started with the orange chicken. Let's shift into the shrimp category. Oh, okay. This is the honey walnut shrimp. This actually, I have something to say about the honey walnut shrimp. So every other menu item that you get from Panda Express, same price. But if you order the honey walnut shrimp, they actually charge you $1.25 extra. This is more expensive than any of the other entrees, bro. I think there's a reason for that because this thing is Fire. You've had this before? Yes, I've had this before. So you're saying it's worth the extra dollar twenty-five? Shh. How would it, I would pay extra two fifty for it? You pay extra two fifty? That's how good it is. Wow, inflation. That's how good it is. Inflation won't even stop Ali from getting the honey walnut shrimp. So cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. I told you. I got sweetness. That honey is different. Wait, don't put it down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wow, I might second you. I'd be down to pay an extra two fifty for that too. It's really good quality shrimp, and the way they have that sauce over that sweet, that honey sauce. That's true. It's mm. it's it's a uh, so it's fried shrimp, but it it adds a sweetness because of the honey. It's literally called honey walnut shrimp. It's amazing, and they add these to it. These nuts. These nuts. <laughs> these walnuts. <laughs> these walnuts. So it nah. takes it to a whole different level. No, but it all honestly, it really is just really good. I'm giving you guys a close up of that crisp that I'm talking talking about because the shrimp on the inside is soft obviously soft and juicy but it comes with a nice crisp on the outside that makes it so much better and there you guys see the honey drizzled on it bro bomb Ali I don't know if I've ever tried the honey walnut shrimp but this might be added to my order from now on every time I go to Panda Express. Yeah, it's honey walnut shrimp, so no brainer. No brainer. I think I would still rank the orange chicken a little bit ahead of it for me. For okay, me. Okay, okay. I think the orange chicken is number one, but I think this honey walnut shrimp came out of nowhere, and that's ranked right behind the orange chicken number two in my heart. Okay, Ali, we've done a chicken, we've done a shrimp. Time for some beef. How about we move on to the Beijing beef? I never had it. I never had it either. I don't know what to expect. I've never had it. I've never heard anything good or bad. I don't I literally go into this blindly yeah that's true because usually when i go to panda express my order is chow mein and double orange chicken but the beef beijing beef yeah you're right bro not Gosh. only not only have i never tried it but i never hear anyone say like oh i'm getting the beijing beef i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i didn't even know there was a menu item called the beijing beef until today <laughs> here you have the close-up of the beijing beef let's try it cheers, cheers. 
I'm gonna be honest here. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It's like, um, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah. I don't like it that much. I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, you're right. I don't know if we have the same taste buds or what, but I think this is very mid. It's very average. It's not nasty. Like, I'm not gonna run to the bathroom and go throw up no, after no. eating this, but it's definitely like, it's just average. It's yeah. nothing I would daydream about and be sitting in my house and be like, damn, I wish I had some Beijing beef. It's here to keep it short and simple. If I'm walking into a Panda Express, I think there's many, many other better options that you could order than the Beijing beef. Yeah. And the sauce, it's it's like, it's, it's different, you know? I, nah. just, I, don't, I don't like it too much. I don't like it. Yeah, like I said, it, it's not nasty. It's not terrible, but it's, just, it's a no. It's a no. Definitely not something I'll get again from Panda Express. I'll say first and last time for me. Okay, Ollie, I have an idea. Yes. Since, since the Beijing beef was a flop, let's stay in the beef category until we get a good one. This one is Black Angus Steak. I didn't even know they had Black Angus Steak. We didn't like the Beijing beef, but is the Black Angus beef gonna save it? Well, let's see. I have a confession. Can I make it on camera before we try it? What? You see this broccoli? Yeah. Guys, I actually like broccoli to a certain degree. You like vegetables? The broccoli, I kind of like. Wow, I never thought you would like something healthy. I've known you for 24 years, and that's something new I learned about you today. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, you know what? That is definitely better. This is way better than the Beijing beef. I'm not ready to say it's better than the orange chicken or the honey walnut shrimp, but if you're comparing the two beefs, the black Angus beef is way better than the Beijing beef in my head. As soon as you bite into it, you can tell the quality difference. Uh-huh. It's such a high quality piece of meat compared to the Beijing beef. It's like a good steak. It tastes like a real steak that you ordered from a steakhouse. Yeah, and they put some sort of sauce over it. The Beijing beef is a little bit dry. It yes. doesn't have too much sauce. If you look closely, it's more dry, but if you look at this one, the black Angus beef, it actually has a lot of sauce. It's juicy, it's not dry, and the sauce has like a sweetness to it. It has a sweetness to it, and they have bell peppers, Charboiled onions. This has like a bougier vibe. I'm ready to give the Black Angus steak like an eight of ten, and this might be something that I'd walk into Pan Express and get again. No, I would definitely get this again. Uh, I just oh mushrooms, mushrooms. I love mushrooms too. Fun fact. Wow. Okay. Yo, you know what? You know what? Hold on. The more I try this, and the more I think about it, this might be an eight point five. This yeah. is. You know what? This is a. This is definitely at least an eight out of ten. This sure. grows on you. It does. This is fire. It's good. It's good. Okay. Okay. My new ranking. I'm gonna put the orange chicken number one still, but I think the honey walnut shrimp and the black Angus steak are tied for number two. I, I'm. I'm a fan of of the black Angus beef. That's actually good. The Beijing beef. Nah. You guys could keep that. We have a couple more things to yes. try, and I want to turn this video into a little challenge. Oh shit! All right. So we both agree that the orange chicken is number one on our list, right? Yes. Okay. The challenge I have. We have like six or seven more things to try. Let's try to see if we will find anything off the Panda Express menu that will take over the number one spot of the orange chicken. Do you think out of the six or seven things we have left, there will be anything to knock the orange chicken down to number two and take over that number one spot? Or do you think orange chicken is safe at number one? <sighs> I'm taking a look at everything. I think there might be one item I'm seeing that could potentially be better than the orange chicken, but we're gonna have to see when we try it. Okay, okay. I think, okay. I think. Ali, um, I'm gonna let you pick what, what you wanna try no. next. We have honey sesame chicken, kung pao chicken, teriyaki chicken, string bean chicken, black pepper chicken, mushroom chicken. Mushroom I chicken. just realized something. God damn, is this a KFC? Everything is chicken. What do you want to try next? Uh, you know what? I think I want to try try the mushroom chicken. Mushroom chicken? Okay, the mushroom chicken. Oh, this looks pretty good. You guys see there's some mushroom, there's zucchini, and then there's the small pieces of chicken. Okay. All right, mushroom chicken. Will it take over the number one spot of orange chicken? Cheers. Cheers. That's fire. That's good. It's buttery. It just melts when you bite into it. That's true. It's very tender, very juicy chicken. Pretty sweet, very juicy. <sighs> It's not dry at all. I love how it's juicy. I hate dry chicken. I hate chicken that you have to keep chewing and like, and it never goes down. I hate rubbery chicken. This is very tender. A lot of sauce, juicy. This feels like you're at more of a fancier restaurant. Mm -hmm. But remember the challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and say that although the mushroom chicken is really, really good, and I'm not gonna lie, I would probably have it again. Like this is something I would crave. Definitely like an eight or nine out of 10. I love it, but I don't think it takes over the number one spot of the orange chicken. It comes close. It's really good, but the orange chicken is just a classic. What about you? <sighs> I'm torn here because it actually is that good. It's good, it's good. But it's like, what do I do? Like something has to really like just, like the orange chicken has to be like, someone has to grab the throne. Like this is like a, wow, that's good. But to knock over the orange chicken, yeah. you need a, wow, yeah. that's good, you know? So I'm gonna have to second what Brandon said. Like it's really good and it's, 
It's like almost there, but orange chicken is still number one for sure. Okay, I have an idea. Like I said, there's a lot of chicken left. I think orange chicken's so good, it's gonna be hard to beat chicken with chicken. Oh. I think you gotta. I, I think you gotta throw a curveball in there, and we have broccoli, beef, and broccoli. Look at this. This is also a classic from Panda Express. You got a lot of beef, a lot of broccoli, and who doesn't love the classic beef and broccoli? So, have you ever had this? I have. It's bomb. I've never had it. You've never had the beef and broccoli? Swear to you guys, I've never had it. The one critique I will have from Panda Express is that when you order the beef and broccoli, it's more like you're ordering broccoli and beef. beef. Oh, because that's... you order beef and broccoli, they pile it up with broccoli, and then they put a little bit of beef. That's my only critique. Hey, the but... way you said it was perfect. Broccoli, beef. Yeah, yeah, you're ordering broccoli and beef. That's yeah. what you're ordering, so. <laughs> well, you take a wild guess because the broccoli is cheap and then the beef is probably expensive to make. So yeah. I'm trying to save money. Yeah, but nonetheless, it tastes amazing. So, Ali, cheers. cheers. Let's see if this takes down orange chicken. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 I love like the teriyaki, the sweetness. I love it. I love it. It's really good. This is, it, it's good. It's, it's different. I love the broccoli on it. So far, the beef at Pen Express is surprisingly really high quality. Yeah. Yeah. Aside from the Beijing beef, the oh, other. Yeah. The Beijing beef, we don't want to talk about that. It's a sensitive subject. It just wasn't good. <laughs> What I love about Asian food, and I'm not only referring to Panda Express, but just all Asian food in general, I love how they mix a sweetness with their foods because like a lot of cultures don't do that. You know, like us Americans, when you go to a steakhouse, you order steak, it's more of a salty, peppery vibe. Yep. But Asian culture, you could get a steak and chicken and there's a sweet sauce on it and I love it, bro. That's, that's something I love about the Asian culture. The food, perfect mix of sweet sauce, but still like that salty um, entree protein. You know, it's it's bomb. Fire. But Ali, to keep things short and simple, beef and broccoli was good. You guys should try it because it tastes good, but it's not better than the orange chicken, nah, right? It's not taking out orange chicken. There is no way. Bro, how you feeling? Honestly, I'm full. Like, I have no room, and I don't know how we're gonna do this. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, before we started filming this video, me and Ali off camera, we were like, bro, I'm so excited to do this video. I'm so hungry. We didn't eat all day to save our appetite for this video, but we're like halfway done, and oh. is your stomach feeling like a rock? It is, and also later when we go to the bathroom, it's gonna go splat. Yeah, bro, it's like, I'm like getting so full to the point where I'm just tired. I could barely uh, even talk. But uh, uh, the good thing on the bright side, Ali, we only have four items left to try. Okay. So we got Kung Pao chicken, teriyaki chicken, string bean chicken, and black pepper chicken. Will any of these four be better than the orange chicken? Let's see, what do you want to try next? I'll let you pick. Uh, okay, I kind of just want to see what the black pepper chicken tastes like. It doesn't look look the most appetizing just from aesthetically looking at it but let's go ahead and try it out that's true it it, it it's definitely looks like one of the not so tasty items that you could get from panda express but hey never judge a book by its cover yes let's try the black pepper chicken oh you can literally see all the black pepper literally okay cheers, cheers. bro black pepper chicken oh you definitely taste the pepper <laughs> you don't like it no I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. Do not like it at all. This is the the least favorite menu item I've tried so far today. I don't like it at all. It's very peppery, right? Or is this weird? Even the texture of the chicken is different. Okay, guys. I don't know what it is, guys. Do not try this. When Panda Express says black pepper chicken, they don't just mean like, oh, sprinkle a little bit of black pepper. There's a lot of black, there's a lot of black pepper on this. It's like, it's pretty much like you're ordering black pepper with a side of chicken, right? I had to open this up just to get more Diet Coke to get the taste out of my mouth. Like you barely taste the chicken and just an overdose of black Black pepper. It feels like honestly, someone's taking a black pepper grinder and just grinding it in my mouth, bro. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, do not try this. I mean, you can. You do whatever you want. It's your guys' life. But you heard it from me. It's, it's just, it's just not good. I think out of everything we've tried so far today, the black pepper chicken might be the worst item. No, no, it, it is. It is 100% the worst in my opinion. <laughs> okay. So it's safe to say that the orange chicken is still number one and the black pepper chicken did not take over the number one spot. Okay, I'll leave three more items. Kung Pao chicken, teriyaki chicken, string bean chicken. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? 
You know, I personally have never tried the Kung Pao chicken. Me either. But I want to try it because my mom, who loves Panda Express, shout out to Mama Rug, I love you. She always gets the Kung Pao chicken and she's a big fan of spicy food. And she says she loves the Kung Pao chicken. So why don't we try it? You get a close up here, bro. There's the chicken. You see the red chili flakes. So you know it's going to be a little bit spicy, but the chicken looks really tender and, and juicy. So I'm ready to try it. And let's see if Mama Rug has good taste buds. All right, Mama Rug, this one's for you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That is good. Oh, it definitely is spicy, right? Yeah, I, mean, I have to cook, but... Oh, the spice is hit me. Oh, wow. This is the spiciest one so far. It is, it is. This is the spiciest thing on the Panda Express menu. And no wonder she liked it. Chaldeans love spice. I swear. Wait, this is actually really good, though. Wow, it's actually, yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't know Panda Express had spicy foods like this. No, this is like uh, six billion times better than that black and pepper chicken. Mm -hmm. Yo, people always say, listen to your mom. Moms always know best. Mama Rug, I'm sorry I never listened to you. I would always walk into Panda Express and get my own things. I should have listened to you, mom. That Kung Pao chicken is so good. Yeah. I feel like the spice on the Kung Pao chicken is the perfect level. Like it's not too spicy to where it's not enjoyable. You know, yeah. sometimes you eat something that's so spicy, it feels like you're doing a challenge, not even like you're enjoying good food but the kung pao chicken has that perfect level of spice where oh you're gonna feel the spice but you still enjoy the food it's at that perfect level like it it doesn't cross the line where you're like sweating and teary eyed oh, and no. runny nose um i have a question for you though is this better than the orange chicken by the way my nose is running because it was spicy <laughs> Wow, that, that's the question of the day, bro. We all know Mama Rug's opinion. She's taking the Kung Pao over the orange chicken. What is bro Wattis' opinion? But is it, is it like Mama likes son? Hmm. Or is the son a little different? We'll see. You know what, bro? Ugh. As much as I love the Kung Pao chicken, as much as I love that it adds that spice concept to the meal, but I don't know if it will take over the number one spot of the orange chicken. I'm ready to put Kung Pao at number two. Oh, wow. I think it passed the one walnut shrimp and the black angus steak that's how good i think the kung pao chicken is and if you guys have not tried it i recommend you go straight to panda express and try it especially if you love spicy food because yeah. nothing else from panda really is that spicy but the kung pao chicken gives you that kick so i'm ready to shoot it all the way up to number two but unfortunately i don't think it is better than the orange chicken so in my opinion i'm gonna keep it short and sweet orange chicken is still at number one Bro, Ali, Ali, listen, listen. We have two more things left to try. We have the teriyaki chicken and the string bean chicken. Bro, I'm so full. I'm going to be a generous friend and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to donate them to you, bro. I wow, think wow. You're going to be doing you know what? I don't care how full you are. You're trying them both. I weigh 140 pounds. I can't fit this much food in my body. Okay, you know what? There's one that doesn't look as appetizing. Let's try this out. What is this one called? String bean chicken. String bean chicken. Get a yeah, close up on this. I'm not gonna lie, bro. All I could see is pretty much a string bean. There's barely any chicken, but if- Okay, like if I was 88 years old, if I was 88 years old and I saw the string bean chicken, I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to get this uh, string bean or whatever it is. But we're still young. Yeah, so- We're like, not supposed to eat string bean. That's what you eat like when you're in the hospital and they bring you the yeah. food like on your bed. That's what you eat, string bean. But all right, bro, let's try it. Yeah, this, this definitely does not look as appetizing. I think this has potential to be worse than the black pepper chicken, but don't judge a book by its cover. Cheers. Cheers. No, it's not as bad as a black pepper chicken, but it's still bad. <laughs> I'm just it real. You're just saying that because it has veggies on it. You yeah. don't like the string beans. I don't like the string beans. It's not bad. It's, it's definitely not going to knock off the orange chicken no for the way. number one. It's probably not even going to be number two, three, or four, but it's definitely not the worst thing. I don't think it's that bad. It's definitely not as bad as the black pepper chicken. But it might be number two, in my opinion. The second worst? Second worst, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely nothing that I would go back to Panda Express and order. So there's just, there's just way better chicken options that you could order if you're going to go to Panda Express for chicken. So, okay, Ali. <laughs> Thank the heavens, I have some good news. We only have one more item left to try. One more item before we both hit the toilet. Both hit the toilet and then straight to the bed right after. Oh. I'm falling asleep, bro, oh, but. All the baby, baby does yeah. something. The last item we have to try is the teriyaki chicken. I feel like this is a very popular menu item at Panda Express. A lot of you guys have probably tried the teriyaki chicken. You know what I've heard? I've heard it's full of protein. If you lift weights, you go to the gym, you go to Panda Express after, and you order the teriyaki chicken. I heard it's really good for building muscle, filled with protein, and it's actually not that unhealthy. It's grilled, right? It's grilled chicken. It's the best post-workout meal, hey. and it tastes really good. I get this all the time. Oh, you do? I 
I do. I love the teriyaki chicken. It is bomb. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's good. This has a sweet teriyaki glaze on top. That's good. One of my favorite menu items by far. And that's healthy? It's healthy. That's actually good for healthy food. It's grilled chicken. It's not fried. It doesn't have the extra stuff on it. It's a really healthy option. I just love that uh, teriyaki sweet glaze on top. It's like a thick sauce. It's not like, it's not like soy sauce. It's like a thicker glaze, bro. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I I'm, love it too. I'm not ready to say it's better than the orange chicken, but I definitely don't hate it. And I think it's, it's better than average. I'd say it's like a seven or eight out of 10. I'd I give it like an eight out of ten. It is Good. definitely, like I said, one of my favorite menu items and something I get. But orange chicken, once again, is just on top, bro. I, there's, it's one thing to say I can't eat anymore. I can't even. I, I'm so full. I can't even look at the food. I can't even smell the food. Anymore. I can't even talk about the food anymore. It's time to close this video out. <laughs> Bro, I need to go use the bathroom, number two. Okay, I don't need to take a piss, I'll tell you that much. And then I gotta hit my bed and go straight to sleep. I'm done. I think we've talked enough about rating the food. We've talked enough about how much we like or don't like certain items. We've definitely given them all the visuals. Wait. Uh, I bet you didn't think a burp like that could come out of my small 140 that, pound that was, body. That was impressive. We've given the viewers all the visuals that they need to see for them to know what they want to order when they go to Panda Express. We've done our job here, bro. We've, we've talked about how nothing is better than the orange chicken. That remains number one. Before we go, everyone do me a huge favor. Comment down below what your favorite Panda Express menu item is and you guys let us know if you think there's a better menu item at Panda than the orange chicken. Let us know in the comment section down below because we don't think there is. We think orange chicken is number one, but you guys let us know. Comment down below what is your favorite Panda Express menu item. I think it's time to close this video out. Oh, wait. What? There's one thing we did not try. Oh, uh, what? What, uh, you're complaining you don't want to eat it? Honestly, bro, I'm too full at this point. Okay. What if I tell you it's not a, like a real food entree, it's more of a dessert? Oh. I'm <laughs> okay, dessert. You did say it has sugar. sugar the diet starts tomorrow. Bring the sugar. I can eat sugar. Okay. Oh. If you go to Panda Express, you know you got to close every meal out with a fortune cookie. cookie. It's not a Panda Express trip if you don't eat the fortune cookie, bro. Shit, you're not going to wait for me? Oh, God. Oh, I went out of my way to bring it for him and he just eats it without me. Okay. Oh, the crunch I love. Shh, shh, shh. Oh. That ASMR crunch. Oh, I almost ate the paper. Mmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't close your Panda Express meal by eating the fortune cookie, then you didn't even have Panda Express. You did not even eat Panda Express the right way. This might be better than orange chicken. My fortune says you will travel far and wide, which is weird because I hate flying. But anyways, you will travel far and wide and touch many lives along the way. Oh, wow. Oh. You wow. really touched me throughout my life. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. Why would you say that? No, like you touched my soul. Oh. That touched me literally. You will travel far and wide and touch many lives along the way. Okay, I don't know if this means like traveling around the world and doing giving speeches to like people. I, no, I don't know. What the I fuck. think it means you're gonna touch all the lives of your viewers. All right. Well, I hope I made an impact yes. in your guys' lives. Uh, mine is very mature. It says, "Live for today, remember yesterday, plan for tomorrow." They plan for what? The diet? I'm not planning for tomorrow's diet. Where are we? That is true. Wait, Ali, that is true. Hold on. Live for today, remember yesterday, and plan for tomorrow. They know that tomorrow you're planning on starting your diet. I'm not going on my diet. What do you mean? You said you're I'm not doing it. Not just because this thing says I'm gonna go on a diet doesn't mean I have to start. You said you were gonna start your diet. No, I don't care what the fortune cookie says. Or anything says it doesn't mean it has to literally start tomorrow. It's gonna eventually start. It's not gonna start tomorrow. For five years, you said it was gonna start tomorrow. Since 2019, it's 2024. It will. The tomorrow after tomorrow after tomorrow. Are you serious? You're not really? going to start your diet? No, no, well, just, just stop. This is a lot for me to deal with right now. This is a lot for me to deal with. Just because a fortune cookie says I have to start doesn't mean I literally have to start. Fam, it wasn't the fortune cookie. You've been saying you're going to start the diet tomorrow. Well, I am. Eventually, I'm going to start tomorrow. Do you know what tomorrow means? Did we not go to the same school? Did we not grow up and learning the same language? Tomorrow means tomorrow. You're really pissing me off. Right my I'm pissing you off, bro. All right, guys. What do you want me to do? Sorry? You do whatever you want. Okay. You do whatever you want. Okay. I'm done telling you what to do. Okay. I'll figure it out. We're just, we're, we're, we're going to close this video out, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, you do whatever you want tomorrow. You can wake up and eat a cake and ice cream for oh, all I care, yeah. or you can wake up and eat a salad tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to eat the cake and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to eat when you wake up tomorrow? Cake and ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out. Peace.
Also, guys, you know we don't be wasting food around here. So I got everything that me and Ali were not able to finish because we were too full. And it's time to go deliver this to somebody. Thank you. Thank you. I know you love Panda I Express. Love you, Mom. We're going to eat it for two days now. <laughs>